Yo, yo, yo. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Best Practices Show podcast. My name is Kirk Barrett, and I love doing this. So thank you guys for just showing up and listening, and my hope is we deliver every single time with some great information that helps you improve your practice and your life. And one of my favorite people in all of the world is another speaker, but he doesn't really specialize in dental speaking. He speaks in all industries. He's big time. His name is Rob Zabersky. And Rob and I can talk about anything on any day about almost any subject. So today we talk about the power and the science behind positive thinking. And he's a great teacher on these subjects. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I know you will. And we will see you soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Practices Show podcast. And I got to tell you, I have so much fun doing this. If you've already been joining us, you know that's the case. And I'll tell you why it's so much fun. Because I get to hang out with super cool people that I just love and adore who not only make me laugh, but make me think. And we're going to do exactly that with one of my favorite people anywhere in any industry, Rob Zbursky. Rob, how are you, man? Yeah, I, I, I am amazing. Like amazing, just woke up this morning and said, "How can I be more like Rob?" That's that's <laughs> kicking more ass than an eight footer with a brass fist. Like, which one do you want? All right, you got to no, give I'm, us. I'm doing fantastic. You okay? Well, if you guys are listening, you're gonna see how we can get a little bit of that, and we're gonna be talking about the science of positivity, how to put your head and your heart in the right place. But uh, I have always enjoyed you, like always. Yeah. Like you come to, you've spoken at our conferences before, yeah. you know. And I thought, uh, you you know, as a speaker. You and I, I don't really think I'm all that great or anything. This, but like every once in a while, you're you, as a speaker and you're watching another speaker, you're like, damn, this guy is good. I remember the first time I heard you speak, I laughed so hard. And I'm like, the guy didn't have any notes. He wasn't even holding a presenter, he had no slides. He, you had us rolling and rolling and it was awesome but i i know who you are i've had you on the show before and i know some people and you know know who you're but who is rob give us the background the bio who's oh Rob's my god this guy so he was like face down in a ditch a half an hour ago <laughs> it's a lie oh dude oh, kirk i listen first of all thank you and i was just trying to make up for the first time i saw you speak so now that the now that the edification game is over um, Love it. no, I, yeah. So I, uh, I'm a professional speaker, uh, personal coach, best-selling author. I've got a company called freedom, personal development. We're a uh, company's based out of Madison, Wisconsin. We do personal professional development training programs. So I, I tell people I have the privilege of traveling around the country. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. I tell mm -hmm. you, uh, yeah, I travel around the country teaching people how to be a better version of themselves. So yeah. I do, you know, skills-based training. Yeah, you saw me do the memory training years ago. Clearly it worked. Yeah. Uh, speed reading. You know, we do, we, we do those, those tactical skills, but then we also do mindset training. Uh, so we do things like attitude, uh, goal setting, toes the line of both, uh, how to live with abundance, train your brain for success, master your mind. Um, I got a best-selling book that I co-wrote with my business partner, Roger Seip. Uh, but yeah, that's, so that, that's, that's what I do. I, I'm a, I sometimes joke with people. I'm a cranial anal inversion proctologist, which if you read between the lines, I help people pull their heads out of their own asses, mm. which can be fun. And then that, not. well, you're going to help me <laughs> with that today. So, and, uh, you know, Rob's a little picky too. So he's like, can I change, can you change your color to green? So I got my background color changed to green. Yeah, thank you. And he also wants a bowl of M and M's without any green ones. Without you know? green, which is yeah, you're welcome for that. Yeah, <laughs> so, you got my rider. You got you got my you got my guacamole recipe, right? I do, I do, yeah, I do. Perfect. You're the best. You are just the best. No, <laughs> no thanks. Wait, I, it's like we, yes, we've done this a couple of times. And like when I got the when I got the note, first of all, I was like yes, mm -hmm. and then it was like pick a date, and it was end of July. I'm like no, no, come but, on. Dude, we, I just I. I 
I'm fired up to spend the time together. I, you know what? I'm just, I'm fired up for the people listening. Like you're welcome in right. advance. Let's now I'm going to warn you guys, if you're listening, like Rob, I, I feel like my, I have attention deficit. Like that's nothing to joke about. Like it's hard for me to keep my attention, but you might have more of that than I do. Or I just got a high RPM, right? I yes. Just, just a high, yes. Just a high, it's you know? true. Yeah. Are you always yeah. going hundred miles an hour like this? Um, no, but no. when it's, I, no, no, I, when I, when I shut it down, I enjoy shutting it down. Okay. But I, you know, like when I'm like, you know, what we do for a living, right. you know, when I'm doing what I do and in a position where I'm guiding people or facilitating or teaching or whatever, like there's science, psychology, and theater is what it mm -hmm. takes to keep people engaged. And so just trying to find that blend and you got to right, wrong or indifferent. In my experience, it, it's helpful to be operating at a high level when you're trying to find that blend. Yeah. And you lucked out or you were blessed because you are truly using your gifts. You know what I mean? And, oh, uh, you. and you use them across all industries. You're not just dental specific. You go to major conferences from, for mm -hmm. other industries. I mean, you've been, how many industries do you think you've spoken for? Several dozens. I, and I, it comes from a humble play. I, it didn't happen overnight. You know right. that like, no, I've got, like, I know, I know where you're going with this and I'm just going to say, yes, I've spoken for unique agricultural industries, mm -hmm. right? It right. comes from the inappropriate section of a, a bull. I've spoken in that industry. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I didn't know there was that. an industry we, for we, we, that. But car yeah. dealers, engineers, accounting, insurance, financial services, dentistry, um, what, real estate. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had a program with the Web Sling and Tie Down Association. So what that means is if you've ever been on a highway and seen a flatbed trailer and the ratchets that hold down the load, whoever made those, I spoke to that company. There's an industry. There's an industry. Dude, you name it, there's an association. I've actually, one of my clients is, manages associations. It's great. I'm like, who So there's an association people? for associations. Yeah, there is this. Yeah, they are an association for association. It's, <laughs> it, it's fun. It's so much, but dude, it's fun. And like, Okay, so I tell people this all the time. I have this really unique job. I have a unique job in a couple of regards, right? But in this regard, like, right, wrong, like, I don't, like, I love dentistry. I love working with everybody in dentistry. And then, like, I don't, I'm not available to be a one trick pony, right? Mm -hmm. I want to, I love the fact that I get to go and take and learn from insurance agents and financial advisors and bull semen salesmen and car dealers. And, like, there's, there's common denominators and then there's other stuff that's like, have you thought about this? They're like, I would never work. I'm like, try it again. And right. just the ability to like learn from all these different industries. And there's so much similar. I mean, listen, we're running business where the, you know, every, the, the, the baseline rules apply, right? Treat the others how you want to be treated. Golden rule, you know, do the right thing, operate with integrity, make the right choice and be positive and, optimistic and all, all the stuff we always talk about. Right. Right. And there's a lot of those common denominators, but it's really fun to get like the little niche stuff from this guy and the little niche stuff from this girl over here yeah. and then cross over and just, I like my job isn't fair to some people. It's like you, you know, like you get to see me up on stage and do my thing. And then like, I, I, I have the privilege of spending so much time with so many people that I get all these different opportunities to learn and be like, all right, well, let me share this story. Let me share this illustration. And yeah. fortunately I've, figured out a way to just make do that in a way that people goes oh or people go yeah okay that i totally get that yeah it's outstanding it's absolutely outstanding it's relevant it's funny i feel like you're telling stories that have happened to me like when you're telling your stories like it's pretty fun and uh, we'll, we'll i don't know man, i told someone you've heard some of those stories you, that, you no, don't want, you don't want those stories no 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 but let's go back to uh so you know the whole idea of positivity and, um, yeah. you know, the science behind it. And now this isn't just about being happy or anything like it. Take us kind of through what you've been learning and teaching other people in other industries when you talk about the science behind it, you know, for sure. So you, I, I've, anybody's listened to the show for 497 times or how many, you know, if you've, if you've heard me talk before, either on the show or in person or whatever, you know, that we've got this, you know, this, this concept that we talk about train your brain for success, master your mind. The idea that you know your mind creates your life, you know, your right. focus determines your reality. What you see is what you get, what you see is what you look for. Then you've got your brain's unhelpful default settings, right? Your brain is naturally focusing on and looking for some version of negativity, urgency, and complacency. And then the things that you need, the things you benefit from focusing on that are designed to overcome that are heightening your awareness of what's most important, 
uh, creating energizing goals, designing a schedule gives you space, and then having an ongoing system for feeding your mind. And that fourth one is my favorite Which? because it's the one that see it's it's deceptively simple, right? The words are simple: ongoing system for feeding, right? That's literally how we live. You have you need food, you need water to live, right? And then an ongoing system for feeding your mind. Like the words make sense; they they, right. they look totally logical. But then as human beings, we just we want to revert back to old ways. And those old ways are focusing on negativity, urgency and complacency. Right. And it's funny people are like I was doing it and like it was working so good. I stopped doing it. Right. So give me, a, give me an example of a system for feeding it. Like what, what, what's your favorite or give us a couple. Yeah. Like how I start my day is my favorite. Okay. You know, like affirmations, you know, right. it's going to be a great day. I'm a money magnet. I have zero emotional attachment to money. It's time to make the donuts. <laughs> you know, like that's, Dude, I love. Tell them about your green, I, your green laces. You have green oh, laces. My green laces are another heightened aware. You know, that's another system. Like I, my green laces live in my, my, my sexy speaking shoes. Like I get okay. the, they don't make them anymore. I'm so pissed. I should have bought another pair. But like my favorite pair of shoes I wear when I'm speaking, I put green laces on, and it's like it's a trigger for me. It's kind of like when I see those green when I'm wearing when I see those laces. Green's color money. Thank you for changing your lights. <laughs> yep. And like when I see those, I know that I got my speaking shoes on and I'm here to do bit. Like I'm here to deliver the goods. That's awesome. Right. More often than not, I'm fortunate and blessed. Somebody probably either gave me a credit card or a check to have me there. And so I've got work to do and I'm honoring that commitment. And those green laces are just a reminder. Yeah. And, you know, and regardless of, you know, could have had travel delays, you mm -hmm. know, could have had the luggage, the luggage always shows up, you know, could have right. like, Oh, this is an interesting hotel. That's a fun smell. Like you, we have all these things that could get in the way, Yeah, you know, but then you look down and I see my laces. I'm like, all right, it's business time. You're good. It's, got, it's super cheesy though, right? It's like um, over the top. You ever see over the top? That, With uh, uh, the wrestling movie? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Where long. he's got, where, where he's, yeah, he's got the weight thing in his arm. He's got the thing in the trailer. Right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, and the guy right? drinks the motor then, oil. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, oh, I flipped the head around, it just flips the switch, man. And it's like, I'm like, I, don't know. You know, I remember watching that when I was young. I'm like, yeah, it was a terrible movie, like, but I, I watched it like six times, you know? Yeah, right? And now I'm like, I, every, I love it, though. I'm like, dude, green laces, business yeah. time, let's do this. It's a trigger, yeah. So that's like, so, you know, you talk about system, like consistency, too, mm -hmm. right? Because we just, you know, you build habits, um, doing the same, you know, doing effective things over and over and over. You know, the science behind it is, I'm not a neurologist, I'm not a doctor. But, you know, we know what we've read, right? We know what we've researched. We know right. what we've heard and seen firsthand. That's the beauty of it is I've been doing what I do for over a decade now. And, like, I, I'm not going to say it's a 100% track record, but it's high 90s that right. when, you, when you follow the plan, when, when, when our coaching clients follow the curriculum and follow the milestones and do what we tell them to do, it's amazing how quickly their life and business turns around. Right. And then we get to talk to them for a couple months later and they're like, what's going on? Well, I stopped doing this. I stopped right. doing that. I'm like, so let me get this straight. Right. Stop doing the stuff that I told you to do and things aren't going well. Right. Yeah. So a couple of things, go back to that because while neither one of us is a scientist, you know, I get it. Everybody's been on these different ends of the spectrum. And there, there were times early in my career where I was just I'm like, this is just not working. It's miserable. So physically, like you do the green laces every morning. I do the Peloton. I know if I get six hours of sleep and, an, uh, you know, 45 minutes at least on a Peloton, it's not about exercise for me. That's ultimately great. I just feel like now I can deal with anything. The other thing, so there's pieces of it we can do personally, and then the environmental piece is also huge too. You set up core values like... You guys, if you're listening, when you're younger, you just kind of do everything for an advantage. You know, like, I want to make things better. And then you tolerate certain stuff that you're like, I, I don't know. I'm going to put up with that because I want to make progress. And then when you get older, you're like, I'm just done with all this because I've lost the ability to be flexible with it anymore. And now you're just like, core values are the only thing that matters to me. It's crazy when you come in yeah. and you laugh more with people. And so talk about the effect of like physical and maybe environmental and then like what happens in our brains, because I realize everybody listening to this isn't always in the best place, you know? So I want, give me some nuggets, Rob. Oh, how many do you want? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, God, you threw like three to I do this, this, and this. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Okay. One back up, back up. Let's break up. Something. <laughs> yeah. Mr. ADHD. Hold on a second. Yeah. No, I'm just joking with you. God, kid, because I love. Yeah. Um, okay. So number one, create, create healthy, like, what we talk about with people is we have this thing called the power hour. I think I've talked about it before. It's like, it's how you start your day. Right. And it actually starts the night before, but that's what we talk about in a second. Like how you, the first, 
what you do in the first 30 to 60 minutes of your day, that determines the day you're going to have. Why? Right. And the goal, why? ultimate, what's that? Why? Why? Why would the first part of your day determine the whole day? Oh, because when you can, so when you get yourself in the habit of doing things that feel like wins, that raises your energetic state of mind. Right. And when you raise that energetic state of mind, like there's a whole there, power versus force by, I think it's David Hawkins. You have that one? You ever read that one? No, you get, I love it. Tell me why. Oh my God. It's great. Okay. So here's the, I'm stealing this line from my buddy. It's not a sexy read, right? Okay. It's not like, it's, it, it's like, it's a thick book, right? Okay. And it's, it's deep. And so it's my job to read books so you don't have to. So here you go. Here's the gist of it is that at different energetic states of mind um, carry different um, power and, and energetic values, right? And so you've got stuff like, um, here, I know not everybody's watching the film, but I, I got this little energetic state chart that I share with all my clients. And you've got, you got things like shame and despair and humiliation and blame and hopelessness and guilt sits on the bottom. Right. Um, and then all the way at the top, you got peace, serenity, love. And so what happens is it's an, you, you've got an energetic value to each of these uh, states of mind. And it's a nonlinear it's a nonlinear relationship. So meaning it's not like this is the bottom one is one and then five, 10, 15, 20. It's like 70 and then it's like 400 and then 6,008, 15,000. Like it's just this, it ramps up exponentially. So meaning like, like if you're watching the video, you can maybe see this. I'm, I'm, I'll use an example. Like when you're down in the shame, despair, humiliation, you have no, there's a very, very low energetic value. Right. And just moving to a place of neutrality is an exponential jump in your energetic state. Explain neutrality though. I, like I neutral this in case you No, I, I I love this. Like go look, what what's neutrality? Give me an idea. Like how Oh, I'm just I'm neutral. I don't have feelings either way on this. Okay, okay. I'm you know, it's not you're not like full on I'm fresh out of you know what's to give. Right. But you're like I'm just I'm just neutral with this. Good bad good news bad news who knows, right? Okay. That's that's neutrality. Okay. Right? Um, you know, forgiveness is a very high energetic state of mind, love, understanding, reason, serenity, peace, right? But so many of us, especially as we're like, okay, you mentioned like the stuff you're willing to tolerate, it's mainly tied to energetic states of mind, like desire, craving, anxiety, mm -hmm. like, oh my God, the bill, I don't know how many, I gotta get the bills paid. I gotta, I gotta pay the rent. I gotta pay the salaries. I gotta do all, I gotta pay the insurance. And like that right. creates a high level of anxiety. So any tools that you have at your disposal that when you use them will elevate that energetic state of mind. Yeah. You're just going to have a better experience. You're going to get better results. Yeah. Right. This is, um, I'm full on like license, a royalty free licensing, some content that I learned from one of my mentors, Eric Plantenberg, uh, years ago. Um, he did this program called the, um, the anatomy of results. Okay. And it was, it's, it's like, there's been like two or three lessons that in my career, like have had the mold have been the holy cow. I use that all the time. This is one of them. Uh, the premise is like when it comes to generating any result and Eric, if you happen to be listening, thank you for sharing this with me. I love it. Um, there's only three moving parts, right? There's intention that, you know, the blueprint, the idea the next is like where it all begins. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, then there's state. That's your state of mind, your positivity, your negativity, your, your, your confidence, your lack thereof, your conviction. It's, it's how you show up energetically in any, in any situation. Right. And then there's action, right? There's what you do, right? There's the phone call, there's the place in the implant, there's, you know, what, whatever you want to use. So short version is if you were to rank and weight the value of each, most top producers, the people at the top of their game, right? The people who are the thought leaders, you know, the, the CEOs, Olympic athletes, they understand that state of mind is 70% of generating any result. For sure. And so, you know, and I don't mean like closing the sale. I mean, like the workout, I mean, the relationship, I mean, date night, I mean, the conversation, like anything can be a result. And so knowing that 70% of what you put into that is tied to your emotional state of mind, anything you can do to elevate that state of mind is going to enhance your experience and the results you get in that experience. Right. So that's where positivity falls in. Mm -hmm. Right. And having a, you know, understanding how to maintain a positive state of mind, it's just energetically a higher value than frustration right. or blame, hopelessness, guilt, all those low energy ones. Right. And then here's the secret sauce. The state of mind you're in when you set the intention 
right? When you say, okay, I want to go out and do this. Like you, you have the idea, the blueprint, the, the, the dream, whatever. When you set that intention from a more positive state of mind, like that's the difference maker, right? The, the right. example I use all the time is this is why you see um, people who alcoholics that can't quit drinking. They wake up after a night of a bender. We may have talked about this last time. So if it's I can't remember. Course, awesome. You need yeah. it. If it's new, you're welcome. Like you get the people that wake up after a night on the town. They're kind of regretful over what they did. They're ashamed of what they did. They feel bad. And they're like, oh my God, I got to quit drinking. And then two o'clock, they're bellied up to the bar again. Right. Versus you got somebody who's like at a party and realizing they're having a great time without a cocktail in their hand. They're like, wow, I'm having a great time. I don't need a drink. Maybe right. I'll try going 30 day challenge of not drinking. And all of a sudden, like they nailed it every time. Right. Or, so this is where, or when you get a quick, I mean, you get a goal, the next, it becomes the new standard. You know, you're like, wow, that worked. Maybe we totally. can do yeah, two of those. Like you've raised the ball. Absolutely. Maybe I, I, I did a half marathon, you know what I mean? And I actually didn't die, you know, and yeah. maybe I could do a full marathon. So you shoot for higher goals. Now, it's funny you say this because there's a great book that somebody re recommended. It's called Make Your Bet. And I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's the guy, uh, the Navy SEAL guy. Uh, he did a oh, university. Make your bed. I thought you said make your bet. I'm like, no, okay, make, no your make your bet. bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. He's an, it's an, an amazing simple read on lessons to live your life. But the first chapter is make your bet. It's a quick win. Do you know what I mean? It's a and quick, so, it's a quick win. It sets the tone for the day, you know? And here's, and here's the thing that I think it's overlooked a lot. You don't have to save the world. Right. Right. For me, I've shared this a ton. I, for me, my quick win is flipping the switch on the coffee maker. Ooh. Because we have, I've, you've heard me tell this story. Like, when my I have not I've heard had, the coffee one. No, so, tell me the coffee um, one. Let's see. Saturday is our 18 year anniversary. So, in our Happy anniversary. Years, That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. We're still together. Yeah. In 18 years, we've had 13 coffee machines. The universe is trying to tell us something. We are not listening. Why? Right? That's a lot. Why? I, you're telling me. No, they just, they keep crapping out on us, right? Whatever, you got electric okay. kind of, So I finally, I got one. I'm like, I get this one. And it just, it makes the best pot of coffee. Like okay. we just got back from vacation. The first thing we said is, oh, I can't wait to have a pot. I can't wait to have a cup of coffee from our, our coffee machine. Mm -hmm. And um, what's it called? Like I know, like when I fill, you know, you know the drill. Like I put the right. grinds in, about grinds in. I, 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 I fill up with water and I flip the switch. And I know when I flip that switch, a kick-ass pot of coffee is about to get made. That's a win for me. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to enjoy that. My wife's going to enjoy that. We're going to, have yep. a, we're going to have a great conversation over a cup of coffee in the morning. Like that's a win. Yeah. You know, like just like, stretching for 10 seconds for some people, total win. You now, know, you're an experienced professional coffee machine buyer. I would put you. I, in I have purchased a few in my day. Yes. Yeah. So I've got the Nespresso, like one, you know, it's the capsule thing. Cause oh, I yeah. love coffee more than anybody, but that thing makes the perfect cup of coffee. It's got the froth and the, so what, what did you guys settle on? What'd you land on? Oh, we've got the Technivorm Mocha Master. What the heck is that? Like, I, exactly. I don't know what kind of <laughs> Dutch magic is in this thing. It's amazing. Let me tell you, I have sold so many of these to doctors that have had me out to speak to their study clubs. Yeah. Like I was, I was actually in your neck. I was with, uh, I was with, uh, uh, Dr. Morales and his group a couple months ago. Oh, so you were and here and you didn't say hi. I, now well, I'm mad. Was, was, now was, I'm mad. We'll talk about it after. We'll talk about it after the recording. Okay. So anyway, talk um, about trying to stay positive. I'm, I'm telling the story and he's funny. He's like, I'm listening. I'm listening. And I'm like, I bet I got the same coffee machine. He's like, technical mocha master. I'm like, yes. That's awesome. So, um, anyway, but, um, yeah, I love this thing. It's down and dirty. You put water, coffee, flip the switch. Enjoy. Okay. So what's bigger than the coffee is you get the win with the switch. You flip the switch. Yeah. And then, and, uh, like, and, and I just, I just, I know that a part of my day that I really enjoy is going to be taken care of because I've done that. Right. So like the, my point is you don't need some miraculous, like oh, I ran 13 miles prior to 7am at a personal record of sub nine minutes a month. No. Right. Dude, like just turn on the coffee machine. Right. Right. Or not turn off the news. Like, oh my God, I didn't, I didn't watch the news today. It's been, a, it's been a great morning. Okay. You so know, let, I, let's I say page I, I read two pages of a book. I've been meaning to start. Awesome. All right. So let's say I'm listening. I turn on, I start using your formula. I get your coffee machine. You know, I'm getting a little Rob Zaberski, you know, channeled every single There's morning. A little bit of Rob Zaberski. It's all or none, buddy. There you go. All or none. <laughs> 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 you are just the best. Now, Help us explain, and, you know, we know this. Nothing ever stays in one place. You know, the human body, 
Like it just changed. Like I have this stretch where things go really well. And then if I stop exercising, if I stop reading, if I stop doing the disciplines, why does our brain go back to those three conditions? Why? Like, is it just yep. go? So it, it has to do with comfort zones, right? We all, we, you, you know, we've everybody, I'm imagining everybody listening or watching has heard of comfort zones, right? Yep. You've got this, you've got this area that your brain is used to operating in, right? Yes. And it's like survival mode, right? you know? And ultimately like comfort zones serve a purpose, but they don't allow you to grow. Right. And what happens is you've got, there's comfort zone, but then there's a buffer above and below the comfort zone. And it's usually to the tune of about 10 to 20% in my experience and the experience of our clients where when you get, when you're operating in a way that's 10 to 20%, either above or below what your brain knows is comfortable, it'll start to do compensating behavior. Okay. Right. So this is the example I've given is like um, sales professionals who like hit their monthly goal for and like the 10th and then don't close another sale. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not because they wake up and go, I don't need to sell anything. It's just the brain is like, whoa, 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 whoa. we are way ahead of schedule. We got to, we got, we, we got throttled down. Right. Or, or if you shoot really, really like, well on the front nine and you're like, whoa, and you just told the right, correct on the right. back. I got a couple of strokes to give up. No, that's like all the strokes you gave up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And then on the, on the tail end, you get people who are like, they realize they're way off the back and they're like, oh my God, this is, I'm not going to pay, pay the rent. Right. You know, I got some bills to do. Like I got to get my keister in gear. And they, all of a sudden they ramp up their production. Right. So what happens is like you get these, these comfort zones, they, they limit us in, in our ability. And so what happens is we get, we, we, we experience the goodness and our brain gets uncomfortable, right? Our specifically our subconscious mind, which is the big, powerful results producing part of our brain mm -hmm. gets uncomfortable. And it's like, Whoa, let's go back to the old way. Cause I was on like autopilot in the old way. Right. And I like the old way. And I know this is, I know you look sexy in the mirror, but like, I feel more comfortable on the couch with the Hagen does. Right. So let's just, Let's just do that instead. And it'll actually force you to do that. Yeah. So that, that's a version of, you know, any stress or, or frustration or, or, or setback you've ever had, you could tie it back to some version of negativity, urgency, or complacency. Right. Right. It's like, that's, you know, that something sucks. You're mad about it sucking. Uh, it needs to be fixed, but you're unwilling to do anything. Right. Like that's, that's typically what happens. Now, can I ask you a couple of questions? Cause this is a, is a, one of my favorite subjects is like helping people get their mindset, right? Because I always say this, like your problems aren't your problems. And I got that from Dan Sullivan. He would say your problems are never your problems or how you think about your problems. So most people like they just don't condition their brain. Right. So, um, you know, I think one of the challenges that even I have is like, I'm looking for positivity without, I, I, I'm wanting it to come to me instead of going out and getting it. And let me give you an example. Like I really believe for me, a lot of my fulfillment comes from overcoming an obstacle and it can be a simple one. Like the garage is dirty. I love it. Now this is weird. You're going to be my therapist for a second, but I like organizing the garage. Oh, wait, wait, hold hands. So I will organize the garage and then I do weird stuff. Like I'm like, wow, I just, and then I, I close the garage door. I turn off the light and then you know what I do? I go back out. I turn the light on again. I'm like, wow, it's still clean. Or I put all the beers in the fridge and I get them all faced the right way. And then uh, I'm like, wow, it's pretty cool. I close it and then I got to open it up just to enjoy. Just to now, enjoy. is that weird or what is that? Because I feel uh, like, you know, or cutting the grass, something as simple as cutting the grass. Now we're using some, but I love the straightness of a line on the grass. You know, yeah. you could enjoy it. Or I could just sit back and say, I want things to happen. The, maybe that's, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I think what I'm trying to say, or the question is, it doesn't come to you. You got to go get it somehow. You got to overcome. I don't think human beings are just, I mean, you tell me, what do you think? Uh, agree to disagree. So please, here's my take on this. I, I, I totally get your question. I get this one all the time. Was it okay, a question? How do I make it happen? And how do I make it happen for me? And how do I make it happen for me now? Right. Well, and here's, right? here's a, here's a heavy question. And how do I do it without working? People are looking for happiness. They're yep. looking for happiness. So like, I'll just stop right there. So decide to be happy. Decide what happiness looks like. Have a clear picture, an idea in your head for what happiness looks like, and then anchor to that image and that concept and that picture over and over and over again and train the big, powerful results-producing subconscious part of your mind to go work on chasing it down for you. 
Okay, now don't let me get all like cliche or controversial here, but let me sing anyway. a song. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Look at, have you ever heard that song? Yeah. No, I, I like I prefer the Wook and Penub version. Wook and Penub. Eddie Murphy, but that's okay. Eddie Murphy. Another conversation. And where I'm going yeah. with that is like people look for satisfaction in the wrong places or the wrong things, you know, type Sometimes, of thing. Sometimes, yeah. 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 So And so that's just I mean that all okay, so now allow me allow me to get all coachy on you. I love it. That's that where I want stems from a lack of clarity. This yeah. is like this is ninety plus percent of the work that, that I do with my clients and that we do with our clients is just a lot of people like getting real specific and crystal clear on what's most important to them and why it's important to them and what it's going to provide to them when they have it. Right. And helping them stop grasping at straws or throwing whatever against the wall to see what sticks and actually going, okay, this is what I want. Right. I, I want to weigh 175 pounds by October 1. Right. Now go back right. to that. Go back to that. Cause I love your formula. What's most important. This has been yeah. said by a lot of people, but the single biggest problem in the world is we don't give our best energy things that are most important. I would imagine as you coach clients, helping them really understand what's important to them. Cause that's not an easy journey for everybody to say, Oh, this no. is what's important to me. So. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Like you can do, you can do all the work. You can do a lot of the work, you can do all the work in the world. You may or may not figure that out. It's one of those things like, I, I'm going to steal your line. Human beings by design can't figure it out on our own. We need help. Right. Right. And like you just, it's having somebody that can look at where you're at and like unbiased set of eyes go, okay, here's what I'm hearing you say. Is this what you mean? And just helping validate. Now we're going to have a hero's journey store. I'm going to geek out. We met. This is going to be amazing. Oh dude, amazing. we got to do a whole show on the hero's journey. It's one of my favorite journeys. Oh my God. I know. I love it. I love it. Ever since you taught it that one time when the first time we met like that, I you didn't hear that, that from me the, the first time. Come on. That's like, that's like, no, an angel. Good, well, like okay, no, I think I had heard about it, but then like you did the whole presentation, another conversation. We'll do another okay, podcast. Right. Maybe like five Oh two. Anyway. Um, yeah, a lot of people. Okay. So in my, in, the, in a lot of the worlds I play, most of the people, when I meet them, they are in, in reactive mode. Okay. Right, they're they're on the hamster wheel, they're underwater or just barely barely got their lips above water. They're putting all their you know they're 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 not wasting energy, but like all of their best energy goes towards keeping their head above water, right. and they can't actually make progress and move forward. They don't even have the mental bandwidth to even get their head wrapped around what's important to them or even how to start the conversation. This is why this is why working with a coach is so critical valuable absolutely and 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 powerful and and all the stuff that we're going to talk about with regards to coaching because it's what we do um somebody I, I, a coaching group i was part of they said you know not everybody needs coaching but everybody deserves it and mm, that one hit me between I the like eye. That. i love that i'm like because i talk to you all the time like you know what you probably don't need a coach right but whatever you got going on you sure deserve one yeah i yeah. actually i've said this and i don't know if you agree i mean if you're running a business, I actually think it's either negligent or ignorant not to have somebody coaching you because you, it's impossible to see your blind spots. It's impossible. You don't have the mental bandwidth to see everything or to assess everything. Go try and buy a high-end car without lane keep assist already installed on it. Oh, yeah. Tell us why that it would be an interesting subject. Oh, this is how I talk about, this is how I talk about core values all the time. They're yeah. like lane keep assist for your car. Yeah. Right. Lane keep assist. Here's my theory. I'm not a car guy. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't work for any of the auto. I don't work for big three or however many there are now. But if you think about it, it's a safety feature that was it put is. in cars because automaker, like somebody at some point said, Hey, we have distracted drivers on the road. What's our brain now focused on negativity, urgency, complacency, urgency, distractibility, Right. right. Cars cost a lot of money. People don't want to keep buying cars. We should make them safer to drive, right? There's a whole argument that you've said, well, make people less crappy drivers. That's right. another episode. Anyway, like, but car manufacturers figured out, like, okay, people will buy our cars if they feel safer in them. Right. And if they feel safe and they can stay on the road. And so, you know, like you have lane keep assist in yours? I do. Yeah. Is yours the hand steering wheel or does your butt vibrate? It's Which the steering it wheel, and it freaked me out the first time. I'm like, ah, right? ah. And, yeah, you know? and so you've got this. It's built into the radar, right? right. So the radar that sits right above your rear view mirror, and it scans the lane, right? And it's designed to keep you on track. 
Right. Like it knows that like the fastest, you know, the fastest way between point A and point B is a straight line. It's trying to keep you on the straight line and on the road, right? It's also trying to fight off distraction. And what happens is if you get off track, lane keep assist kicks in, shakes the wheel, buzz the wheel and go, oh yeah, let's get back on track, right? Mm -hmm. I love this illustration for core values because that's what they do for you. Like talk about, true. that's what's most important to you. It's what you're all about. It's your non-negotiables. It's all the stuff that you and I talk about and probably everybody listening has heard about said one way or another. Well, it's great to have them, but then like, what do you do for, what do you do with them or how do you, how do you make them work for you? Well, when you are crystal clear on your core values, when you are reconnecting with these, reinforcing these on a daily basis, yep. it trains your brain. It trains your big, powerful results producing subconscious part of your mind to put you in a situation where you have no choice but to always operate in alignment with those. This I'm, I'm going back when you said like maybe be controversial and like have a clear picture for what you want. Like your brain's going to go to work on it right. when it has a clear picture for it. Yeah. Back to lane keep assist, right? Sometime we have negativity, urgency, and complacency that happens to us all day, every day, right? We got a problem patient that shows up. We got uh, somebody popped in with an emergency. We got uh, the spouse calling going, when are you coming home? We, you know, there's stuff that happens, right? right? You got a bill that shows up, whatever. And having, being anchored to your core values, when, it allows you to realize when you're off track faster and then course correct faster so you stay moving towards your goals and your vision and your dreams and all that good stuff. You just, you know that every day you're purposeful in getting where you want, getting towards where you want to go. But it starts with understanding where you want to go first. I love it, buddy. I love it. Now, I wish I could have you all day and ask you like 95 more questions. <laughs> but I, 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 would, I would listen to me talk all day. I would listen to you talk all day, too. So. <laughs> You can see why I love this guy. So, hey, Rob, any last thoughts you have on the part? I'm going to have you back. And we're going to talk all about these different aspects of things. And actually, I could bring you a whole bunch of things that I've been just thinking about. I also have a stack of questions that I get all the time um, as we go. But uh, any last thoughts on, like, the science behind positivity or what I can do if I'm a listener? Yeah, just choose happiness, number one, right? Understand that it's you're making your brain your attitude it's kind of like a bank account right you've got to make deposits mm -hmm. every single day make it doesn't matter sometimes it's a penny sometimes it's a hundred thousand dollars make deposits in that bank account because you don't wake up and go gee what's going to suck today right. but inevitably in the course of our day our week our month our, our quarter career career whatever we're gonna we're gonna deal with some we're going to have a turd of a situation mm -hmm. and that's a withdrawal. Yep. And as long as you have more in the bank than is trying to be withdrawn, it's going to be a great day. Absolutely. So I... think about your brain like a bank account and just make those deposits and listen, pennies add up. They do. They you don't do. have to save the world. It's just so, yeah, make it's... mental positive deposits so that you have the resources you need when you need them. Love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I want people to reach out to you. I want people to see you do your magic. Like, how can I oh follow God, me you? Hire me. I'm just kidding. You know, if you haven't had Rod speak, speak to your study club, you have to. And then you also have awesome resources. I have a lot Please. of them. How can somebody get some of the stuff that you have? Like, yes, yep. freedom, freedompersonaldevelopment.com okay. is our website. And so, uh, yeah, just, just like it sounds, freedom personal development. If you want a short track, if you want to fast track it, you go to freedompersonaldevelopment.com forward slash train my brain. You can get our free, you can get our foundational train your brain for success program where some of what I talked about today, it's understanding how and why your mind creates your life. It's understanding your brain's unhelpful default settings and how they're actually limiting you unconsciously. And then it's a deeper dive into understanding those strategies, what your brain needs to work for you instead of against you. Um, totally free, totally downloadable. You own it forever. Like that's your, if you want to start anywhere, start there, start with the train, my, uh, train your brain for success foundation. Um, we've got books. Master your mind is available on Amazon. It's really affordable right now. That's a fun story we won't get into. Uh, Train Your Brain for Success is its partner book written by my friend Roger Seip. Um, you can find me on the interwebs, just uh, at Rob Z Speaker. If you're on uh, Instagram or Twitter, Rob Zabersky on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. Like social media wakes up in the morning and checks me. That's how, that's how connected I am. Like Twitter's really like, do. what's Rob up to? 
Yeah. Well, so, dude. But yeah, that's that's where that's if you need some more Rob Z in your life, start. There. Let's start there. So I'm going to encourage you guys to check it out. I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. And so a um, couple things. If you're listening and you're not taking notes, don't worry. We're taking notes for you. So our writers will put all of those things that Rob has mentioned down in the show notes. So if you're on Stitcher, iTunes, Spotify, it doesn't matter. Flip up to the notes. You're going to see all of Rob's contact information. You're going to see how to follow him on social media. You're going to see how you can download some of his stuff. And I'm going to encourage you to check it out. I promise you it'll make your life better. And I got to go back and do your memory course again. It worked for a little bit, and then I forgot. You know, I was, I'm a human being. I started to slip. Yeah. So. Sorry, I know a guy. If you need some help, I know, know a guy. guy. Dude, you're the best. You are absolutely the best. Well, awesome. stick around thank when we say so goodbye much. to everybody else, buddy. I really appreciate you. So thank you guys for listening to the Best Practices Show podcast. If you enjoy today, which I hope you did, just do us a favor, hit the share button, share this with your friends. And then also, I love all the suggestions you guys are seeing, they're sending to us. So keep sending them to us. And we will line them up, and you're going to see Rob back again and again and again. So until we see you guys next time, or you hear from us next time, keep watching the best practice show. You guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.